and it's your bloodline rules for tomorrow night of Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes in a universal, undisputed universal championship match, a rematch of last year. Now, they say it's your bloodline rules. If you notice that, um, very good size this match. Seth Rollins wore that ridiculous color attire. Dark colors since symbolizing heel turn. Rock, as you know, he's going to be filming a movie in May next month. And he did not take no hard bumps. So he took very, very limited bumps that he could to the best his ability. And he mostly got offense. Roman, uh, one thing they did mention with Roman tonight, uh, Michael Cole said he's battling leukemia. And I don't know if that means that Roman's going to lose tomorrow night. They said he was reportedly taking time off. He won't return to May or later. But they, they say he's bad leukemia. Like, we know he had leukemia from the past. I thought his leukemia was a remission. Why did they bring that up during the match? I don't know. Hopefully, Roman is okay and his health is in check and that leukemia has not returned to his system. Hopefully that's not the case, but I thought that was a little weird. Um, but yeah, Seth seemed a little hurt. He keep doing that stomp. He did that stomp like five, six times in that match. They keep playing off his back and his ankle. I'm I'm definitely convinced that Seth is not 100% still, and I'm definitely convinced that tonight that Seth will not be walking out of WrestleMania 40 night two as the world heavyweight champion. He will lose to Drew McIntyre, and that ain't no secret knowledge. That's facts. But um, this was a good work match. Rock was also abusing his authority, saying he told the ref why they went at, when they went out to the ring when it was Rock and Seth on one side of the arena. I mean, of the um, with the crowds. Then Roman and Cody's on the opposite side. Rock told the ref, if you count this, you're fired. He was cursing them out. Roman was cursing them, was cursing too. We're definitely in the era where the cursing is back. Um, Shades of Attitude Era, 1997 through 2001 kind of era. We're getting that kind of back, but technology era or renaissance era. But anyway, um, Rock was also, there was one point where Rock, you know, where Cody, uh, he grabbed Cody's legs, he pulled the ref out with a, in the count. When Roman had the, Cody in the GU team, Rock grabbed his legs and the ref just looked like, I can't do nothing. He was trying to fire me. He was trying to fire him early in the match. But it was great storytelling. Great way. Rock right now has the uh, final boss. You know, who is on the board of TKO. He's giving me shades of the Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon character. Back also in the Attitude Era when he abuses authority over many superstars like Stoko, Steve Austin, Mick Foley, etc. That's who Rock remind me of with that. And um, even Michael Cole said this during the match. Now, with the whole bloodline rules, it seemed like this match the tag team match was on the bloodline rules. Honestly, when I heard Rock tell the ref, if you count me out, you're fired. I knew then at that moment that Cody and Seth had no chance of whatsoever to win this match. I knew that the odds were in Rock and Roman's favor at this point. No chance that Seth and Cody was going to win. No chance at all. None. No. I knew there was no chance he was going to win. They was going to win once Rock over abused his authority. But like I said, Roman, yes, we thought that they may will may have lost when Rock, you know, got accidentally speared by Roman Reigns, but he didn't. And you know, with that being said, um, they still came out on top. Roman, you know. It seemed like Cody was going to, just like last year at WrestleMania, it was the same scenario. He hit all those crossroads that Cody backed up to the ropes. And last year, Solo Sokoa, you know, hit the Samoan spike on uh, Cody during the title match at WrestleMania 39. 
And tonight, instead of solo interfering, speaking of which, there was no solo in any way we in sight tonight. Not doing this match or the Jay and Jimmy match. Uh, meanwhile, Rock hit Cody with the weight belt and he taunted him on Rose. On Rose is interacting, getting back and forth with him. And he hit him with that. And Roman hit the spear on Cody. He tagged in Rock. Rock hit the rock bottom, did the people's elbow, did a signalization of the neck, put his uh, fingers on the neck, saying it's over. And that was it. Rock and Roman won the tag team match in the main event of WrestleMania 40 against Seth and Cody. And then it's your bloodline rules for tomorrow night, which will be, like I said, Cody versus Roman or Roman's undisputed Universal Championship in the main event. That's fine because Roman also he made an event. He's the first person since the whole WrestleMania 2 night thing began back at WrestleMania 36. Roman's the first person I see that main event at both nights. He made an event at tonight, and he's going to main event it's tomorrow night. It's just tomorrow night, the odds will be in his favor since him and Rock won. Bloodline Rules was pretty much what this match was. That means Rock ringside you're gonna see jimmy uso you're gonna see solo you're gonna see paul Heyman. but best believe i still see cody may win if, especially if roman leukemia has returned he has to take time off he could get help from um jay uso help from maybe stoke Cold steve also may make an appearance john cena could make an appearance many other wwe legends could make an appearance and maybe people from the locker room that's on Cody's side. That's against what Rock is doing. And the bloodline could interfere. So that don't mean Cody's completely counted out. He could still possibly win tomorrow night's match and be the new universal, undisputed universal champion. If that's the case, that means both champions, Roman and Seth, will lose their respective world championships tomorrow night at WrestleMania 49-2. But other than that, though, it was a solid event. A lot of, you know, some matches I didn't care for. But other than that, great storytelling. And this was in Philly. I know they was playing off my Philly was cold. All of that. We had Lil Wayne in the parents. He made a parent. You know, they showed uh, other people in the crowd. Uh, they were entertainers. They showed uh, Wale was in, the, in, in attendance. And they showed uh, other people. But with that being said, other than that, what is my review on WrestleMania 40, night one, in Philadelphia, April 6th? I would say for this event, um, for WrestleMania, I got night one, four out of five. This was a solid WrestleMania. Like I said, it was one match I didn't like. Actually, two. I would say Jimmy and Jay was stupid. In a whole, you know, that was the match that was dumb. I know the Bianca six woman tag was to put Jade over, but I, I had no high expectations for that match. But the brother versus brother match could have been a lot better. Um, it was too much super kicking. I felt like WWE was taking, you know, was making fun of uh, the Young Bucks who are in AW. You know, I'll call them the most overrated tag team in the wrestling industry. You guys can challenge me on that if you don't think, if you don't think so. But other than that, this was. Four out of five. Like I said, great, great, um, great way to kick off the first night of WrestleMania. And only we got night two. Like I said, we got three world title matches. We got not just Roman and Seth, and I mean Roman and Cody. We have Seth and Drew. We also have Bailey versus uh, you know Scott for the WWE Women's Championship. We have AJ Styles and LA Knight. We got the Street Cross to Bobby Lashley in the Street Philadelphia Street fight against the Final Testament. Um, there's a lot of good matches going on tonight, tomorrow night as well as tonight. You know, so definitely something to look forward to. And also, we got the Triple Threat match of the United States title match: Logan Paul champion versus KO and the Viper Randy Orton. But this was also a good, good, good WrestleMania. Um, you know, they had 73,000, 72,000 attendance record. So that was great. Um, you know, you guys can also check me out on X when I'm streaming now. But yeah, um, definitely a good one. Definitely a good one. Definitely a good one tonight. 
Um, I'm going to cut it off now for X. Say our goodbyes there. But, you know, this was a good stream. Good stream of uh, talking about WrestleMania. WrestleMania was a good night. I love the direction that WWE is going, and it's only going to get better. WrestleMania 39 was amazing. WrestleMania 40 just got better, especially with night. One, having a main event, especially with The Rock there. How often do we get The Rock to WrestleMania these days? Not many. So let's do it what we can. Even for the people that don't like The Rock, this is a money, money-making match. And there's going to be more money-making matches tomorrow night. But it definitely was a good match. Um, we have today NXT Stand and Liver. They brought it. You know. Then we have WrestleMania Night 1. WrestleMania 40 Night 1. This was amazing. And we have Night 2 tomorrow night. WrestleMania 40 Night 2. But definitely uh, something to look forward to. Um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen between Roman and Cody. Of course, Seth and Drew. You know, Sam Punk's commentator. And then we have Dave, will Damian Priest cash in on Drew tomorrow night or Seth who wins the match. That's a story. The Bailey and Leo story will Dash control in the fear. Will Bailey get help from, you know, Naomi? Um, you know, possibly Bianca and Jade. A lot of great storytelling. Then the LA Knight and uh LA Knight and um AJ Styles, you know, it should be a no old guard or false count anywhere. That's my opinion. And then of course we got the uh triple threat for the United States title, you know, and then of course we got the Philadelphia Street fight, Bobby Lashley and Street Profits versus the final testament, which is Karen Cross and AOP authors of pain. Well, and that's so this was a great, great event. You know, can't go wrong with WrestleMania. And I believe the rest of the that WWE is going since they don't end a new era. WWE is not just only trying to take over the wrestling industry. They are number one. There's no one can match them. No, nobody, not AEW, not TNA, nobody. But they over try to take the sports world, meaning they're going against their model what NFL is doing, NBA, MLB. Mainly NFL and NBA. They model a little stuff after that. Because you notice since 2014, anytime a major sports team win a championship, whether it's the NBA championship, the World Series, the Super Bowl, you know, stuff like that, or the finals, they always get gifted a custom-made WWE championship by WWE. So with the Netflix deal, you know, next January, WWE's really on a whole nother level, and it definitely taking things over. Streamers in, cable's dead. You know, if you're no one watches cable no more. This is a streaming era. Kids stream everywhere. This is what it's about. And WWE is taking it up a notch by keeping up with the times and being 10 steps ahead of everybody else. With that being said, I say thank you, WWE. Thank you for providing us for NXT Stand Deliver and WWE WrestleMania 40 Night 1 and Night 2 tomorrow. And it's a great WrestleMania weekend. Don't forget, we got Raw after WrestleMania. I will cover that as well. So, like I always cover Monday Night Raw. So, great event by WWE. So, salute to WWE. They stepped it up in the whole, ever since the HUD scandal with 